I think it was back in uh, September 2021, uh, I did a video where um, I showed how to use a normal um, uh, PC CD player or CD-ROM player uh, with an IDE plug point um, together with a uh, controller um, with an LCD screen um, to actually make a CD player. Um, so I think I got this from uh, AliExpress. Uh, I'll put links to everything that I've got here uh, down below in the description if you want to go check that out. Um, and um, I have now come to the point where I actually have some time to uh, relook at this uh, project and to see if I can actually build this into a case um, and make a proper CD player of it that I can use um, for listening to my CDs. Um, I don't actually have a CD player. I think I've got a quite a cheap Philips DVD player, uh, you know, which is fine. Um, you know, it's, it sounds okay, uh, but it would be interesting to see, uh, you know, if I when I when I finish this build, um, you know, what the sound quality is going to be like. Um, essentially, this is just going to be a CD transport. Um, there's going to be no deck inside. Um, this uh, CD-ROM drive hacked has a digital output, so that's just going to go straight into my external DAC, uh, which is going to go to my amp. Um, so we're looking at a CD transport, not a full-on CD player with its own internal uh, DAC. Um, this is all going to be powered by a um, switch mode power supply. Um, in that other video I did try and make a power supply of my own but it was unsuccessful. I'm not quite sure why um, but I'm no um, you know sort of like electronic expert or electronics buff. Um, I know enough to get by. Um, uh, it's very different from building something like a speaker crossover. Um, uh, so this is a 12 volt and 5 volt um, output switch mode uh, power supply. Uh, so it gives 5 volt and 12 volt and uh, DC, and that's required by the CD-ROM drive and um, the actual controller board. Now all of this needs to be built into a case and for that um, I have designed and 3D printed uh, these two parts. Um, now the trick is going to be to try and get these two made together uh, seamlessly because at the moment we have a we have a seam in the middle. In the middle. Um, I've printed these out of two different types of plastic which was probably not the best thing to do. Um, this one type of filament was really horrible I, even after drying it in uh, for a couple of hours um, it still didn't print great but you know what it was quite a long print um, so I it and it came out good enough um, apart from some blobs on the inside um, so I think I can make it work anyway so th this is only you know two parts of it uh, there's still a top that needs to come on it um, and I've decided to make my life difficult and um, not just do a normal sort of like front load uh, CD transport, but actually a, uh, a, a top load. Um, so there's going to be um, a few things that I'm going to have to do this, to this drive to actually make it a top load. So the aim of this project is not going to be to build a super high end audio file quality CD player. Um, this is really a, a fun project for me to try. Um, I have this CD-ROM that was been that's been lying around for years, uh, you know, that was about to throw out, um, and I thought, hey, let's uh, let's try and see what are the options to build um, a CD player with that CD-ROM. Um, like I say, uh, this controller board um, I got from AliExpress, um, and uh, if you look at the previous video that I did back in 2021, um, you know, you'll get a good idea of how this works. Um, but uh, what are the next steps? Um, so the next steps will be to um, start putting this um, together, these two parts, um, and finishing it. Um, then I also need to. I haven't quite. I haven't quite designed um, the entire unit yet. Okay, so I still need to design the top. Um, I will show you a drawing. I'll, I'll pop it onto the screen right now um, of how far I've gotten with this so far. Um, I still need to figure out how to um, do the the top loading of the CD player. 
so I have I, I sort of like printed this test piece uh, but this will probably fit on top and then uh, be mounted to the underside of uh, the top panel that's going to fit into this case um, with the opening and then you'll have a you can put the CD player in and then you have a lid uh, that fits over that and secures the CD player in place um, or, or the CD in place. Um, so next steps would be just to continue with the design. Um, uh, I'm probably going to laser cut uh, the top from 6mm MDF. Um, I can perhaps uh, give it a layer of veneer just so that I get a nice contrasting wood finish. I'm not sure what I'm going to finish this in. Uh, maybe I'll try that uh, sort of like um, metal look finish that I've achieved on some of my previous 3D printed uh, speaker projects where you use a graphite powder um, to coat it and it gets a shiny metal finish. Maybe I'll try that. However, that's quite a lot of work. Um, I might just uh, do something that's, that's easier, to be honest. Um, this is just... Uh, this is just a fun project for me and I'm hoping that you guys uh, will find some kind of uh, useful information and some entertainment out of it. Um, so I think in the next uh, in the next video that I'll do on this CD player, hopefully I can show you how far I've gotten with finishing um, this enclosure and perhaps some more information on how this uh, top loading mechanism is going to work um, so that we can uh, install it. In the rest of the chassis um, so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, keep a lookout for my upcoming projects um, in my previous video I mentioned a center channel and a um, tape recorder wave tube project that I'm going to do with Aurelic drivers um, and uh, so go and have a look at that I'll put a link in the description below or uh, top right I'll put a card that you can click on to go watch that video um, so until next time adios